Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to install the Iridian X Transformer for Adobe Lightroom. This tutorial is going to show you how to get the plugin directly into Adobe Lightroom so that you can use the X Transformer without having to exit Lightroom and you can just use it straight in the Adobe Lightroom program. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the Iridian X Transformer website. I'll leave a link down below if you need help finding that. So we're here in the Iridian X Transformer website. We'll click download free demo. And for me, I'm using the Mac. If you have the Windows, of course, you can use the Windows version uh, right down here. So we'll click download now. And once we have that downloaded, we'll check the downloads folder. We will unzip the file, click agree. And when it prompts us, we'll go ahead and install the Iridian X Transformer into our Applications folder. So we just click this here, click, hold, and drag, and drag it into the Applications folder. Now once we have it in the Applications folder, we'll open that up. Let's go to Iridian X Transformer. We'll double click on that and we have it opened up. I'm going to show you what I use for my initial settings. Uh, for the raw process, I'll keep it as more detailed for sharpening, we'll keep it as low. We'll check off turn off Lightroom and we'll keep the DNG baseline sharpness tag at Adobe default, luminance noise none, color noise reduction none, and everything else we'll keep as default. And for DMG options, we'll keep it at Adobe standard. For compression, we'll keep it at lossless native. And the JPEG preview will keep medium size, everything medium, everything else will keep default there. For file naming, just keep it as the original file. And for your save folder, you can click any folder that you want. For me, I'm going to keep it as same as original. And now to get it into Lightroom, what you need to do is go to the top menu here of the Iridian X Transformer, click help, and scroll down until you see install Lightroom plugin. Just go ahead and click that. And now this information box comes up, Lightroom plugin installed. And that's pretty much it. Iridian X Transformer commands will now be available from the plugin extras item found in both Lightroom's file and library menus. You may need to quit and restart Lightroom if it was already running for the items to appear. So we'll click OK and we'll restart Lightroom. And now we want to select the image that we want to convert. I've already got a file that I want to convert here. This is the subway at Zion National Park in Utah. I'm going to click that. We can see our RAF here. This was taken with the Fujifilm XF 10 to 24 millimeter wide angle zoom. And in order to change this into the uh, Iridian DNG, we're going to go up to File. We'll scroll down until we see Plugin Extras. And you can see our Iridian plugin is now available in Lightroom, right down here where it says Process Selected Images to DNG. You can see above it, it says Iridian X Transformer. So we'll click that. And once you click it, the file that you selected is already going to start to automatically convert. So once it converts, you can see it's done now. And normally your converted file is going to be to the left of the original file. So we can see dsf6060.raf and then we'll go to the left of that. Now we have dsf6060 iridianedit.dng. So it's as easy as that as far as converting the file. Uh, let's just do a quick comparison. Uh, this isn't going to be a full review, but I can show you here that the Iridian X Transformer really does a good job of converting the raw file. Now, this is not my recommended workflow for Fujifilm X Trans files. I actually prefer Capture One, but let me just show you that Iridian does do a good job if you're not ready yet to change to Capture One Pro. So let's zoom in here and let me see. So we're actually at two to one there and I will compare it. And we can see our raw uh, .raf file is on the right and our DNG file from the Iridian X Transform is on the left. I've zoomed into the rock here and it's probably gonna be hard for you to see, but at two to one, I don't even have my nose up to my monitor and I can see that the detail here in this little part of the rock, this pink part that I'm circling around here, has more detail 
in the iridient file. Now it's not a whole lot of detail, but we can see that the uh, crevices are a little bit more pronounced in the rock. And we can also see that the pink in this part of the rock, the gradations in the colors are a lot more natural and a lot more smooth. In the original RAF file, we can see that the gradations probably are not as smooth and the rock is not as detailed. Uh, also, it just looks a little bit smudgy overall. Now watch when I add a little bit of sharpening to the RAF file. Let's see if that helps the RAF file catch up. So I'm going to add my normal sharpening when I used to edit the RAF files just straight up in Lightroom. I found that the best settings were an amount of 90 for sharpening and a radius of 0.8. So let's zoom back in and compare. Again, I've added a little bit of sharpening to the RAF file. And yeah, the RAF file actually did catch up a little bit there, but the colors look a little bit more natural and a little bit more saturated in the Iridian file. If we zoom into a different part of the photograph, uh, let's try this rock here. We can see some of that watercolor effect in the RAF file is not as pronounced in the Iridian uh, DNG file. Now, some people will claim that the Iridian X Transformer makes their pictures look a whole lot better. Um, I would say I would agree with that, but that's only really if you're pixel peeping at about two to one. In my opinion, if you're only uploading to the web or Instagram, things like that, where the image detail doesn't matter too much, I don't think you're gonna find a huge benefit for Iridian versus just the straight up Adobe Lightroom file. But if you're someone like me that really does appreciate the amount of detail, if I didn't have Capture One, I would choose Iridian over just a straight up Adobe Lightroom file, just for the joy of editing with the most detail that I can, because I really do enjoy not so much pixel peeping, but making sure that I have the best image that my camera can capture. And I feel like you do need to take just a little bit more of an extra step with Fuji files and I think it'll be worth your while. Well, that's it for today's quick tutorial, guys. Thanks for joining me. If you found this helpful, make sure to click subscribe and click the notification bell for more photo tips, tricks, and camera gear reviews. Until next time, take care and have a good day.